Today's Gospel, November 7, Sunday, is taken from St. Mark chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Father Ray Helia from the Order of Servants of Mary. Generous God God is magnanimous and generous. His generosity can neither be equaled nor paralleled. This premise should push us to think about our own act of kindness shown to our brothers and sisters, especially the neediest among us. In praise of the widow, in our gospel story today, we heard of Jesus praising the poor widow who dropped in two small coins. She was poor, and she was a widow. It's a double misery. In a culture very dependent on family patriarchy, losing a husband is indeed a great tragedy. Wives do not work. They are totally dependent on their husbands. The woman in our story has nothing to depend on for a living. Of all the contributors at the temple coffer, she is the least to be expected to drop more than anybody else. But to the surprise of the observers, Jesus included, she gave out of her want and poverty all that she had to depend on. What a show of unparalleled generosity. Pretentious scribes and Pharisees, this kind of kindness is a reflection of the generosity and magnanimity of God, our Father. In contradistinction to the pretensions and show of fake dispositions of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, the poor widow showed us the right and praiseworthy way. It is not actually the amount and the size that matters to God, but the disposition of the human heart. In giving, the pain and sacrifice matters most. The ease of giving up of our surplus weighs a little less than the sacrifice of those who give even when they also need what they give. Dependent on each other, the story also tailor fits our theme as we celebrate the 500th year of Christianity in our country, gifted to give. The Second Plenary Council of the Philippines long time ago 
tells us that our option to be church of the poor is to tell the faithful that in this imagery of the church among us, there is no one too poor that has nothing to give and no one too rich that he has nothing to receive. We depend on each other. We need each other. May God's kindness and a parallel generosity push us to be kind and generous to each other as well. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to be generous always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.